now have the next question from Karnataka CET Engineering Entrance Exam of 2013. The problem is the concentric spheres of radii, capital R and small r, have positive charges Q1 and Q2 with equal surface charge densities. What is the electric potential at their common center? See, there are two concentric spheres. The first sphere is having a radius of capital R. The second sphere has a radius of small r. And uh, they have charges Q1 and Q2. The charge on the first sphere is uh, Q1. And the charge on the second sphere is uh, Q2. And it is also said that they have equal surface charge densities. That means uh, sigma is the symbol of surface charge density. Sigma capital R, that is surface charge density of sphere radius R. And sigma small r, sigma capital R is given to be sigma small r. They have equal surface charge densities. Now the question is, what is the electric potential at their common center? At this point, what is the electric potential? Let's suppose V1 is the electric potential of the outer sphere. V2 is the electric potential of the inner sphere. Then the total electric potential due to both the sphere is clearly V1 plus V2. So in this problem, we have to consider the formulas for potential and also for uh, surface charge densities. Okay. Now, let me write V1. V1 is the electric potential due to sphere of radius R. And it has a charge Q1. So, the for, according to the formula, it is Q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, 4 pi epsilon naught, capital R. What is this V1? V1 is the electric potential due to the outer sphere. That is the sphere of radius R. And uh, what is V2? V2 is the electric potential of the inner sphere. That is the electric potential of smaller sphere it has charge q2 so it is q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught small r and it is given that sigma r sigma r is equal to sigma small r now what is the formula for surface charge density surface charge density is defined as charge divided by area charge over area so i will write the surface charge density of sphere radius r what is the charge it has q1 what is the radius of the sphere with radius capital R? 4 pi epsilon naught R square. Surface area of the sphere is 4 pi R square. So here, sigma small r is 2, 2 by 4 pi epsilon naught small r square. Now 4 pi epsilon naught, 4 pi epsilon naught on both sides cancel. So we have Q1 by capital R square equals q2 by small r square cross multiply q1 r square equals r square q2 so take the value of q1 q1 is r square q2 divided by small r square this is uh, the value of q1 that is uh, the charge on the outer sphere now Common potential at the center, electric potential, electric potential at the center due to both spheres. It is the net value of the electric potential of the system. So it is V equals V1 plus V2. V1 is uh, Q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught R plus V2 is V2 is Q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught R. Now let me add, this is V net at center. Uh, so it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 by R plus Q2 by, now this is small r, Q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q2 by small r as we have taken 4 pi epsilon naught common. Now here I will substitute the value of Q1 from this relation. So V net at the center is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 
into substitute for q1 what is q1 q1 is r square q2 r square q2 divided by r square and this r plus q2 r as it is so v net equals now i can cancel this one capital r and capital r here and uh, take q2 also common q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught and what are the terms remaining inside the bracket capital r q2 divided by r square plus no, q2 i have already taken it outside r by capital r by r square plus 1 by r because this q2 is taken here as a common factor so v net equals q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught now let me simplify the terms inside the bracket r square is the lcm so here i get r plus r or v net equals q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught r square into r plus r so v net is now what is this uh, q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught r square that is uh, now q2 by 4 pi r square let me take q2 by 4 pi r square that is sigma over epsilon naught into r plus r so the four answers i have not written the answers the four alternatives now this is one of the alt answer this is the right answer among the four alternatives so the net electric potential at the center of the sphere is sigma by epsilon naught into r plus r now from the question paper the four alternatives given are number one is sigma by epsilon naught into r plus r which is the in fact which is the right answer the second is sigma by epsilon naught into r minus r third one is sigma by epsilon naught to 1 by r plus 1 by r and the fourth one is sigma by epsilon naught to 